Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going over the Ready or Not update that came out yesterday at the time of this recording. Now what's in this update? Well, we've got new features, we've got bug fixes, we've got audio reworkings, and more than that. And if you want to see these patch notes for yourself, they are on the official Ready or Not Steam page. So first, in order of this list, I want to start off with what is coming out in the future content preview that they've provided on their Steam webpage. So in this, they have said that the upcoming content features the following. Two new weapon variants of the Ready or Not MP5. We are given an explanation and a glimpse at two new variants of the MP5 submachine gun. The MP5A3 and the MP5A3 10mm. They go on to explain that the new variants have a lot more rail coverage for attachments, and in the case of the 10mm variant, a higher caliber, both feature unique updated audio to represent their differences from the existing MP5. So yeah, these these are gonna have new look, new sound, it's just gonna it's gonna feel like an all-around different gun, but mostly it'll be the same. And then they got two pictures, one showing them with cur the curved mags, and then one with the straight mags. Not only are we getting those two new variants of the MP5, we also are getting a new trap type. Now we've had flash grenade traps, we've had explosive traps, but we haven't quite had shotgun traps. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get traps that have a double barrel sawed off shotgun rigged to a door that when the door opens, boom, you know, you're, you're going to be having a rough day if you meet the business end of this thing. But however, it is not too overpowered because through these pictures it indicates that it will be easier to spot with the bolts in the door holding up the trap holding up the whole mechanism really what's cool about them is they they even include some uh, concept art a little demonstration on how this is supposed to work and uh good on them for adding that and you know that's that's basically it for the future content preview. Now on to the main update. We have a new gameplay feature where we are able to carry arrested AI, civilian or suspect. Now what does this mean? It means that when you arrest an NPC in the game, suspect or civilian, while they are handcuffed, you are able to shoulder carry them to a different location. You are able to physically pick them up and place them down somewhere else. Your character HUD in the corner will even display what it looks like while you're carrying somebody. Now, I could see multiple ways that this can be used. Rather than the civilians or the suspects getting in the way of the crossfire, you are able to dictate where they go. If you need to move them to another room, you are fully able to do so. And I think this feature, especially for single player, and I think this feature will come in handy in a lot of cases, and I am all for it. Another thing I'm proud that they added was the increased melee bash range. Realistically, you would have to get up close and personal with somebody, but it seemed like the range on the melee bash was too short and this update allows a longer range for the melee bash to take effect on somebody. Something they fixed that I didn't know was a problem was that they fixed the SWAT AI becoming injured to CS gas when wearing a gas mask. I may have encountered this multiple times but I don't really recall it but good on them for fixing it. <laughs> we have new settings to play with the NVG phosphor display option green or white. So you can set that in the settings for your night vision, I believe. Another major thing they added was the feature of no longer being able to join co-op games in progress, which I can kind of see people getting annoyed at this. I have had plenty of experiences in other games where my friend was playing a game and I tried to join them and I could just join their game in progress and just not hinder their gameplay experience. But I don't really know how it's going to go for this game, so hopefully it doesn't cause too much of a problem. Let me know if you agree or disagree with these, by the way. I'm curious to know. M32A1 launcher flashback rounds. an M320 launchers, flashbang, stinger, and gas.
those are for the weapons and pretty much they have this whole sound effects and music section where they added a whole bunch of fixes and optimizations for sounds and music in the game new ambiences and new map content or additions to maps now if you've ever played the meth lab map i forget the name of it offhand but apparently that map has new areas such as attic meth lab new rooms in the tent house which is next door to the main house more music optimizations and fixes and that's pretty much the entire update list i, I skipped over a few things i only got to the stuff i really wanted to point out all in all not a bad update list i don't think i look forward to the future ready or not content that they will be introducing even beyond this preview that they've given us here but let me know down in the comments if you think this is a good content update thanks for watching and take care